This is a really fun, relaxing game. I'm going to chill and just play for a while. It's called Refunct. It's not that expensive either on Steam, if you're thinking about getting it. Basically, it's just a parkour type game, except for it's not even a fast-paced parkour. It's just jumping around and getting to the next little shiny monument to get to the next wherever. It's kind of a puzzle. It's kind of fun. Kind of hard. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. And I'm in the drink again. How to get it up there.
better work. up here but can't get any further. I am not sure how I'm supposed to get over there. I'm not very good at jumping between two columns. And the only yellow elevators are over there. Be nice if I could fly. idea what that does. Well, I barely made that. Once again, I'm right here and I just can't get over there. That's too high up, too far away. I definitely like the background music sometimes. It's very calming and relaxing. I guess that could be a good thing, considering this game it can be kind of frustrating. <laughs> I've been trying to get to this, get past this last couple of platforms, which has taken me quite some time. And that can be a little frustrating and irritating, which I was, to me, I find this game supposed to be relaxing. But sometimes it's not. Uh, today it's okay. Background's definitely chill. Background music, that is. Just 
wish I could figure out how to get over there. Okay. How did I get up to this one? jumped it. Okay, maybe we're getting somewhere. If I can get away over to that column all the way over there, I could jump across several of them to get to that one. Maybe. Oh, I see something. Or do I not? I uh, don't. Yeah. <laughs> I'm guessing that's how I gotta get over there to do these little jump between the pillar thingies and I'm just not very good at that. Ugh. And I apologize if that makes you sick. Don't worry. Batteries aren't included and the objects in the mirror do appear closer than they really are. It's all good. <laughs> think, Bob, think. Come on. Gotta be a way to do this. Gotta be a way to do this. So close yet. So far. Missed it by that much. That was a bad impression. I think I've tried this before, but we'll try it again. gotten up there before but I can't do it apparently this time <sighs> nope too far Too far. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. I'm going to take a breather here just for a second, just to notice that you know, I'm this close and 
I just hope I don't do something stupid like I normally do when it comes to jumping in games and miss it and have to do that all over again. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, here we go, Bob. Oh, yeah. Okay, now here we go. Here we go. Made it. Now, where's the next one at? Oh, cool. there's two over there. Way cool. Because I think they're by an elevator thingy. Maybe. Yep, one of them is. make it oh I did just barely now can I make it all the way over there doubt it but oh I was right so I'm a nitly Batman. How am I supposed to get over there? Well, that's another cool thing if you haven't noticed. When I get to a block I haven't been on before, it turns green. To let me know I've been there before. And where's that one at? Down there. How am I supposed to get to that? Swim? Nope. <laughs> it's somehow it's inside the brick. How is that possible? Well, fiddlesticks. that is, but that's cool, I got it. What if there's something I'm supposed to be doing? Keyboard. No, nope, pretty much that's all the controls there are. Not a lot to it. Like I said, it's a very basic, relaxing, simple game. Other than the fact it can frustrate the snot of you. If you can't jump very well like I can't sometimes. I think that's why the background music is so laid back and relaxed. It chews you out so you don't get near as frustrated playing this game. <laughs> but I do gotta say it is it is very, very relaxing at times. I wonder what this does for me. Nothing. I've already been there. I like to know how I'm supposed to get to that one. It's like right there. Oh, I swim under. Didn't think about that. Hey, I got to it. <laughs> That's cool. Forgot I could swim. And... Gotta figure out how to get over there. Let's get a good view here. 
How in the world do I get to that one? Maybe get all the way up there and jump across? Okay, bigger question. How do I get across to that one? Maybe down to that one? Oh, elevator! <laughs> That's too far. I know I won't be able to make that. No way! Crying out loud, that'll make this easy. Well, at least I got to that. The achievement unlocked is called How Are You? I'm fine. How are you doing? Anyway, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. Oh, wait a minute. What's the... Uh... Well, that does nothing for me. Why didn't I do that in the first place? Well, that seemed simple. I was looking for the complicated solution. Yep. If it had been a doorknob, it would have bit me like a snake. Wait a minute, that's not a good metaphor. Anyway. Alright, what we got going on here? Interesting. See all those gray blocks down there? I've never been there. It's new stuff. And I'm in the water. Love these little tube things. Kind of cool. All right. Oh, hey, there we go. Tube away. And now I can't get any further. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Well, there's an elevator. There's no way I could jump that far, though. There's apparently something I'm missing. I hit next so the next part of the puzzle comes up how do I get over there now let's just try it I don't think I think maybe I tried it I don't know but I don't think I can jump that far well the game's either gonna let me or not oh wait a minute I could jump this far with this maybe Maybe. Nope. I'm in the water. I wonder. <laughs> Love the tubes. He shot me up high enough. I was able to jump further. Yay! That's sweet, yo. Okay. hate the 
jumping between pillars. Or maybe I don't have to. Oh. Next. Over there. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nice and shiny. And easy to get. And this one you just go under. Got it. That one was easy. <laughs> That's still fun. Okay. I can get to that one. Nice if they were all this easy. Excuse me. Sorry about that, guys. I didn't mean to belch in your ear. I had Taco Bell tonight, and it's kind of coming right back up. How you doing there, Snail Squatch? I think I pronounced your name correctly. I don't know if you've ever played Refunct or not, but it's kind of a fun, relaxing game. And I apologize if you came in right when I belched in your ear. <laughs> I had Taco Bell tonight. It was good. However, gave me a little gas. So, trying to get over here to this. That's where I gotta get to. Oh, you love Taco Bell too, huh? Cool. I had me a Nachos Bug Grande and a couple of Dorito tacos. Those things rock. They're just awesome. Can't get enough of those things. The only thing I wish they'd do is be able to figure out how to make like a soft taco version of that. That would just be epic. And yeah, it's good stuff. The only thing I don't like about Taco Bell is I can literally walk into the place before I have eaten anything and still wind up getting gas even before I start eating. So, <laughs> but it's definitely good stuff. Now, the question is how to get over here. I wonder if I can get up on this big tall one right here. This game's very relaxing at times, but it can. Uh, Oh, get a double-decker one? Oh, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Just, I think those Dorito taco shells are thinner than, uh, than uh, a regular taco shell. And there's no way I could jump that far. But I might be able to jump from over there. Now if I could just get myself over there. Oh, let's try that. Nope, not far enough. Oh, need to figure this out. Sometimes 
times in this game you gotta go like all the way over far over just to get to where you need to go so you can get enough leverage to jump to the next pillar or sometimes you gotta jump between the pillars which I am not good at Okay, go all the way over that far corner over there. Now, how did I get up there before? So, have you ever played this game? Uh, it's called Refunct. Have you ever played it? There, Snail Squatch. Cool name, by the way. It's not real expensive in Steam, but it uh, it's basically just a puzzle type parkour jumping thing. You're welcome. Uh, but but the parkour part's not really fast. It's just you know at your own pace. You're just trying to get to the, the to raise up the next puzzle that's in the water. I find it kind of relaxing. And it wasn't like I said it was cheap. I think it was like maybe five bucks not that much and I figured out I think the reason why they have this really background music that's really kind of chill is because you can get real frustrated with <laughs> what's, what's supposed to be a relaxing game see down there all that stuff those are ones I haven't hit yet and they come up once I get to the next little button yeah it is cool but once you click on that little button then the next little pillar rises up but I gotta figure out how to get to that platform maybe I can come at it like this nope that's too too far away but at least I gotta see where I need to go to just I wish the little, see the gray spray spaces that they will turn green once you get on them so I haven't been on those yet but they eventually if I can figure out how to get over to like these pillars or at least actually to one of these right here then I'd be able, should be able to get to that but how to get there is the hard part and my first thought was to do the jumping between the two pillars thing but man I'm terrible at that <laughs> uh, I'm, to be honest with you I'm not really sure they're like achievement blocks I clicked I got one a uh, minute ago before you showed up and it said it said achievement unlocked and said how are you and I said okay that's what they called the achievements so I'm not really sure what they're supposed to be I mean this game's not real complicated I mean show you let me show you the, ex the example of the controls I mean that's it <laughs> You got space, you got wall jump, you can climb up once you get to the very top of the ledge. Uh, you got to crouch and dive, and that's about it. I mean, there's not really a whole lot to this game. It's pretty simple. But it can also be somewhat challenging. Yeah, so I'm not sure what those little red blocks are for. I've gotten them and they, they, a couple times, and they've done nothing, and then you get like the third or fourth one, and then, then an achievement shows up. I'm in the drink again. Let's see here. Let's see, there's one there that must have shown up after the fact because it shows green up there. I've been there. Yeah, see, I can't. Okay. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's the problem. <laughs> I, I, I'm not very good at it. You probably get sick watching me try. <laughs> but yeah, I've I've thought about that. I thought maybe between these two pillars, I need to do the wall jump between these two and get up on one of these pillars. But uh, yeah, I could try it, but I'll tell you, it'll probably make you sick. <laughs> 
see? Yeah, well, there you go. I ended up in the water. I'm so bad at it. One time I did this. It took me like 20 minutes just to get between these two pillars to get up to where the thing was. I kept falling down. Yeah, I was close. <laughs> but, like, but like my dad used to say, close only counts in horseshoes, hand grenades, and sometimes and bombs. <laughs> Let's try again then. Oh, oh, wait a minute. There's a thought. No, nope, I can't jump from inside the water. There was one earlier that had like a two angle thing that they were next to each other and I was able to jump in between the corner. And that went a little bit easier for me. But And there's little places around here that's got like a little yellow elevator uh, that raises you up, which I've used that to my advantage before. Like right here. But uh, if you notice, that's like the closest one there is, and it's not going to get me there. Well, I can try the jumping between the pillars thing one more time here. Uh. Oh, come on! <laughs> I know, that's got to be painful for you to watch. It's painful for me to watch. <laughs> Alright, is there anything on the back side I can get to? gotta be a way to do this. If I can get up there maybe. No. I want to need to if I get up there then I can get up there then I can get up there then get across. Maybe there's a way to get across from here. See there's that angle wall thing. I was able to do it before. Okay, of course, now that I say that, I can't do it. <laughs> Come on. Got to get where that red thing is. Got to make it there. Nope, that's too far. Oh, it tells you you have to have open, uh... Are you running, like, Windows or Linux? I'm in Linux right now. And... Okay, Linux. Cool. I'm running Ubuntu. Um, oh, Antigross. That's a nice version. I like it, too. Um... Oh, yeah, that's a fun game. I haven't got it yet. But I was able to play the demo a while back. Before it actually released. That's a fun game. It's hard. <laughs> uh, there's there's another one I play a lot. It's like it. It's in it's a in, uh, new release called uh, Planet Nomads. Oh, is it is it really good now? Because I know when it first came out, there were some little bugs with it. And, I mean, before it came out, there was like some bugs and things like that. Oh yeah. Um, is your is the OpenGL 4.5 in your repositories? I'm all about trying to get somebody that's definitely doing gaming in Linux. I want to help you out, dude, because I, I actually think gaming in Linux is way better than any other 
uh, operating system out there. I just wish there was more games, which Steam's really working on things like that, but I wish there was more games that were supported in Linux. Oh yeah, yeah. So I'm running the um, so I've got an Adeon, AMD Radeon R7 370 that uh, AMD no longer supports or provides open source drivers for my video card. Uh, the last version was like Ubuntu 15.10. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm thinking I may need to eventually upgrade my, my video card. Uh, but luckily with uh, Ubuntu 18.04, uh, they included, uh, Ubuntu included some 3D drivers that work sort of well uh, with OpenGL and, and Mesa and so forth. That's what I'm using right now in order to be able to play it. Um, and as you can see, it, it doesn't do too bad. Oh, there's another one of those elevators. So what video card do you got from AMD? Obviously you use the Vulcan chipset. Nice. Man, I, yeah, the only reason why I haven't upgraded yet on mine, uh, it's a 4 gig card. I mean, it's it's already pretty much a beast. The one I got, the only problem is it's one of the older models, the R7 370. Uh, which I don't know why AMD decided not to make drivers for it. Yeah, yeah, mine was normally like 250, and I got like a hundred bucks off of it when I got it. Uh, was lucky to catch it on sale shortly after Christmas. Uh, but I, after I got it, I found out why. <laughs> it's been replaced, re replaced by newer uh, models. So I'm just lucky that I'm still able to to play in Linux with it. Of course, I can always play in Windows, but that ain't near as fun. Oh, that's nice. Always love it when you get a discount, especially with Amazon. Sometimes Amazon's got some of the best prices on things, dude. They really do. But it's just like with anything, you gotta shop around, make sure you get the best deal. trying to get up high here so I can maybe get another vantage point of how to maybe tackle this. So have you, uh, have you got, does the Vulcan drivers and everything work? Yeah, I've been reading about that too, about Microsoft starting to charge so you rent the operating system. Dude, why do that when Linux is free? <laughs> Great, glad to hear it. I love to hear it when somebody's able to, to game in Linux. For one, there's also, I don't know if you know this or not, but uh, I don't know how long you've been playing with Linux, but there's a lot of cool free games out there for Linux, too. Um, and occasionally you'll see me play them. Uh, you can run Witcher. Oh, nice. 60 FPS isn't bad. On high resolution, that's pretty good. Especially if it's like really uh, smooth and no tearing, that makes it really nice. And I don't know how this stream is showing up, if it's we're not tearing or not. It's not tearing on my screen, but uh, I have found sometimes streaming, it shows up tep uh, tearing and so forth. So, 
cool. Yeah, I, I love the fact that even though this is an older video card I got, um, yeah, all because of the DX VK. Yeah, uh, that's awesome, dude. Uh, I know for mine, even though it's an older video card, uh, I love the fact that I got like four gig RAM and it's still pretty powerful, and that I can do what you're doing and setting up all my, you know, resolution and graphics to the highest or ultra settings and hardly no no lag whatsoever. Now I do that in Windows. Sometimes the game will will slow down and tear and so forth, but I don't have that problem in Linux. Cool. I'm glad to hear that my screen's not tearing. I wasn't sure, man, because sometimes the streaming's been kind of flaky lately. Well, I'm open to suggestions if you think there's any way I can get over there. <laughs> Other than the pillars thing. <sighs> I hate trying to do that because I'm just going to be at it for like for quite a while. It may be the only way I can, though. It really bites. Oh, come on. Oh, man, almost had it. So do you like Antigross? I know it's based off of um, uh, I have totally forgot the name of the Linux it's based off of. I know it's not based off Debian like Ubuntu is. But Antigross is pretty cool and it's actually uh, one of the versions out there that a lot of uh, gamers use. Yeah, Arch. That's it. And back in the day, I used to use uh, a version of Linux called Super Gamer. Uh, and it was based off of Arch Linux. And it was pretty nice. Um, but I've... Uh, I do more than just gaming. Linux is my go-to operating system for pretty much everything. And I've just found that sometimes... I found it a little bit easier. I made the switch to Ubuntu a couple of years ago, and I just found it easier for support-wise. Not saying that there isn't support for Arch and Antigros. There actually is now, but at the time, there wasn't as much support for anything else. Right, right. Yeah, Antigros, I've played with it. It's pretty nice. It's got a real nice, good-looking feel to it. Um... And for a while there, I wasn't really liking. Oh, cool! Yeah, I, uh, 1804 Ubuntu finally decided to go back to using GNOME instead of Unity. I really didn't like Unity, uh, but I do love GNOME. I uh, really like XFCE, but I primarily run GNOME now. Um, for me, I just like the stability of things with Linux. Granted, it may be a little bit harder to figure out things. Oh, KDE's nice. Oh, KDE's rock solid. It's been around for years. Yeah, I've been using Linux since about uh, 1994. If that tells you anything. No, 1995. Sorry. 1995. Uh, and my first version was a, a version called Slackware. Yeah, KDE's come a long way. Yeah, I did. Matter of fact, the very first version of Linux I ever played with didn't have a GUI. <laughs> it was command line only. And I remember it was like kernel 1.13. Uh, and, uh, but, uh, so, I mean, Linux has come a long way since then. As you already have noticed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> But of course, my favorite feature of all is it's free. Who doesn't like free, man? You can go, you can buy a hot dog for a dollar, and somebody give you the exact same hot dog for for free, and the free one tastes better. It just does. <laughs> yeah. 
Exactly. <laughs> so you know, I may be playing for my paying for my games, but I'm not paying for the operating system. So. gonna do this I know let's try getting over on those pillars maybe there's no water below here so maybe I can do the jump thing between these nope it's too far apart blasted <laughs> no doubt. Dude, there's no way paying 120 bucks for an operating system. <laughs> That's just insane. You know, it's one thing you buy it once, but you know how Microsoft does. And I'm not bashing Microsoft at all. I like Microsoft too because they've also started doing some things that uh, incorporate Linux and things like that into their operating system, even so, which is way cool, and I'm glad they're doing that. Uh, but at the same time, you know, as much as they update that thing and, and there's a new version constantly coming out and you have to shell even more money, the way I look at it is I'm saving myself money by just running Linux. And that's why I thought that was too far apart. <laughs> oh yeah at one point before I got this card I was running two NVIDIA uh, one gig cards uh, tied together in Linux and that wasn't too bad uh, but I was I mean, eventually hopefully gonna, I'm probably going to have to get a bigger case like you got the problem too uh, just because I don't think I can fit a second one of these cards because these 4 gig cards and stuff they're huge they take up a lot of space and I've got another slot, but I don't think I can fit it in there because I think the power supply is uh, taking up too much uh, space. Yeah, I haven't needed to either. So, I mean, the 4 gig card I got rocks. I mean, it may be older, and I'm just glad that Ubuntu is still supporting it. Um, Ooh. So I wonder why, is there a fix for that, that No Man's Sky has provided? Because it should be seeing your card correctly, I would think. If not, it's got to be something wrong with their game. I haven't tried that game, I haven't, I don't own it yet. Uh, kind of waiting for it to maybe go on sale or something. And I have watched a, no, it was a wine error. That, oh, okay. I was, isn't there a Linux version of it yet or not? I know that they had planned on doing that. I know I have had trouble sometimes playing Windows games in wine. Just depends on the game and and so forth when I seize your hardware correctly. That's why for the most part if I can I always try to find the game uh, to run native in Linux. Oh, that's a bummer. Well, 
like you said, they got a new update out. Maybe they've fixed some of that. Or it'd be nice if they actually had... Okay, maybe that's what it is. You need a new version of OpenGL. I'd look in Anthogross repositories. Maybe there's an upgrade for their OpenGL. Yeah, right, they do. I'm trying to remember what game it is I've got. There's one of them I've got that runs native in Linux that uses OpenGL 4, I do believe. Is it Tomb Raider, maybe? I don't know. I'd have to look and see. <laughs> that's got a bite. Yeah, I mean, that, that right there, that's a pain. Yeah, it may load the texture, but is it playable at that point, right? <laughs> right, yeah, Tomb Raider has a Linux version. That's what I've, that's what I've got. And it runs pretty nicely on Linux. I haven't tried streaming it yet. Some of those higher end games, they seem to not stream very well. It could also be my internet connection, I don't know. That's the same plateau I've been going to. That's not getting me anywhere. I apologize, dude, if it looks like I'm running around in circles. I'm kind of running around like a chicken with my head cut off because I'm not really sure where, where to go with this. I know doing the pillar jump thing might get me there, but I just, I just suck at it. <laughs> I really do. Cool. Thanks for being understanding. <laughs> uh, oh. So what kind of games have you played in Linux so far? Stellaris. Stellaris is pretty cool. I haven't played those other ones you've mentioned. I, I know about them, but I'm just... I have certain genres I like, and uh, my favorite genre is, is pretty much racing sims. Uh, but uh, uh, I love stuff like... Uh, Oh, cool! I didn't know that. I meant to check that out. Because the last time I I, uh, I saw it, it only had a Windows version, and I tend to kind of wait to buy those unless I'm really absolutely dying to have the game. Because I'd prefer to buy games that have a Linux version in it. Because I like playing in Linux. Um, like one example, uh, there was a game uh, I don't know if you've heard or not, but called Stranded Deep it's a survival type game uh, 
and for the longest time it only had a Windows and Mac version but they just recently made a Linux version which absolutely rocks <laughs> and I'm so glad they did but it's it's one of those games that it's in early development so it's still being made so it's buggy and glitchy and same way with like Planet Nomads they just got through making a Linux version for it and it's buggy and glitchy as all get out I try streaming it and it hoses up my stream so it's like well I gotta wait until it gets a little bit more uh, stable and you gotta stop me from playing it it just won't be streaming it for a while <laughs> Uh, but today I felt like streaming this one. Hmm. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, I've got tons of Windows games. And, you know, that's the only reason why, to be honest with you, on my system, I've even got Windows 10, is because I'd switch over and play some of those games that I can't get on Linux. Uh, but, I've been trying for the past several years to get primarily the games I buy now, just trying to get it to where it's just a Linux version, because I just don't really like to go over and play in, in Windows anymore. It doesn't seem to be as smooth. I mean, gameplay in Linux seems to be faster and lighter and cleaner, I think, with the exact same hardware. So, <laughs> and actually, gaming in Linux has come a long way. So I can remember when I used a thing called Sediga under Trans Gaming, which was a port of Wine that allowed you to play Windows games in Linux, but even it was buggy as all get out at times, depending on the game. It had those errors like you're talking about, so forth. Right, exactly. My games play so much better on Linux than they do on Windows. And that's why I just I try to avoid, if I can, like I said, unless I absolutely want that game right now, I try to avoid getting a Windows game. Get one that supports in Linux. Um, yeah, I, I've tried it. I haven't actually done a whole lot with it. I just got it, like, the other day, because I just discovered it. Um, uh, have you done a lot with it? Is it any good? I mean, I've got it installed. I just haven't really played with it, just taking the time to play with it. You like it? Oh, you love it. <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, then, then you convinced me. I need to go check it out a little bit more. I mean, I I downloaded it and installed it, and then I just got busy doing something else and just haven't been back to see it. And that was maybe about like two weeks ago. So, yeah, that's that's kind of the, one of the reasons why I put it aside because it's like I was going to. I was, there was a learning. I got to learn what I was doing with it first, what I was actually really trying to do with it. But I think uh, I think I need to revisit it again. I just wish this was closer to that pillar over there. <laughs> Remember how I get to this one right here? I'd be able to get to there, and then get to there, and maybe I'll no. I don't think that'd be far enough. It might be. I don't know.
Now, just so you know, I've I'm just recently started out, actually this week, uh, streaming on Twitch. I've been streaming before, like on YouTube and other places, uh, but I decided to start trying to do it on Twitch to see how things go. And uh, uh, starting out, I'm going to have like Mondays and Fridays for sure to where I'm playing something. This Friday, I'm going to try and play a little bit of uh, maybe Stranded Deep in Linux uh, for a couple hours, see how that goes with streaming it. Uh, if you've never played that game, it's kind of fun. I hate sharks, though. <laughs> Sharks are a pain. They're way aggressive, and I avoid them like the plague. <laughs> but there's a lot of building and things like that. Yeah, cool. I'm glad you found me. I was hoping you'd. Uh, uh, that's good to know because I I purposely tried to put put that in there that I want to be my kind of thing is Linux gaming because I love talking about Linux. Man, it's it's awesome. Yeah, I hate playing underwater too. But you can build a raft. Uh, if you find another, enough parts, you can build a, like a, a auto gyro type helicopter thing. Uh, yeah, I don't go in the water unless I absolutely have to, and even then, it's very, very quick. Because man, those sharks are aggressive, and they're mean, and they'll kill you in like two seconds flat. <laughs> But uh, other than that, the, the main thing is about it, it's like a survival type game and you're like on an island and you rummage through and find scrap and build stuff and things like that. It's the main reason why I like it. Um, no, I haven't. I've heard of it. Cool. I may have to check that out. Is that, is that a Linux game or is that one you have to play in wine? <laughs> really strange. <laughs> I've got some strange games like that too. <laughs> okay. I've done that before. If a game I really like it well enough, I've done that. I have a version of uh, Steam installed under Wine so I can play some of my Windows games. Oh, I love that. That's one of the reasons why I bought this game. I I, I'm constantly looking for the real cheap games, especially also the ones that are free. Uh, so, <laughs> Not that that's the reason why I get a game, but it does, does make it nice when it's not that expensive. So what's that game about? Is it like a survival game or cause you said there's underwater? I mean there's water in this game you could swim but you can't really do anything. All it really allows you to do is just get from if you accidentally fall in. <laughs> okay, I'll have to check it out anyway. It sounds interesting. Oh, that's cool though about Lutris. I had a feeling it did that. Like it's kind of like a one-stop shop location to put everything in. I mean, because you can in Steam, you can put games that are not Steam games that you have installed on your system. Like uh, one of my favorites is a free Linux game called Tremulous, and uh, it's it's a pretty fun per first person shooter type thing aliens against uh, humans but uh, um, but I can add that to my steam library oh you can so you can also put Linux games in there too awesome so kind of like make it a launcher for everything Cool. I like that. Yeah, you 
definitely uh, you've piqued my interest. I had to, I need to, well, I needed to look at it in the first place a while back. I just didn't get to it, so I need to go back and and take a look at Lutris again. I had a feeling it did some of that. I wonder, does it also also offer Linux games that aren't available like in Steam and stuff? Not ones that you can like install in Linux, but I mean the ones you can maybe even purchase from them or or something like that. No problem, man. Uh, the question I had was, we're not, to, and maybe you've not done enough of Lutris, I don't know. Uh, do they have like games like also like Steam does that you can actually buy and so forth that, you know, obviously aren't Steam games or aren't Linux games, but maybe made for Linux that you can actually purchase or something? I was just kind of curious. I haven't, like I said, I haven't, I haven't played with it a whole lot at all. But the, the gist of it is I got it installed and that's all I've really done. Okay, so it's just basically an interface to kind of bring your whole game library together. That's still pretty cool, though. Oh, nice. Yeah, because I know there's some games out there that uh, I've seen in the past that like were p particularly a Windows game, but they didn't have a Linux version for it. But the manufacturer who made the game made a installer that allowed you to help you install it in Linux. So I'm I'm guessing that's probably what Lutris is doing here for you, which is really nice. So you don't have to go look for it yourself. Because I know a game, uh, Medal of Honor, had a, had like thing like that. Medal of Honor, the very first one back, way back, uh, still like playing that game, but it, uh, it was back in Windows only, and I want to say that was made by EA, I think maybe, and they have an actual installer that allows you to install the Windows version in Linux, but you had to go get it on their website and download it. It's like a script that you just used and it installed it. It worked pretty well. Uh, except for occasionally you'd have no sound. <laughs> but the game still play. <laughs> but that's cool that if Lutris does that for you, that, that would even take a lot of the guesswork out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's about fifty fifty shot, man, where not you had sound when it when it start up in Linux. Sometimes it'd work, sometimes it wouldn't. Or sometimes they quit in the middle of the game and, and come back <laughs> right in the middle of the game. <laughs> Which would also scare the living daylights out of you if somebody just shot you with a rocket launcher and your sound came back at the very minute that happened. <laughs> Make you almost wet yourself. <laughs> Blast it all. I thought I was, had a direction I was going to go with that. Let's see here. Okay, maybe. Oh, that's too far away. But I may be able to get up here this way. Let's see if I can. Oh, 
Nope. Yeah, that's just <laughs> exhausting, sir. I don't remember. I had to open the battle of net launcher first, log in. Right, exactly. Yeah, my brother was big in the in the WoW. I tried it. I just it just not my type of game. I mean, it's cool, but I just didn't. Uh, I didn't get to it as much. I like racing games, first-person shooters, um, MMORG RPGs. Just they they don't do it as much for me. Mainly because I'll be honest with you, I suck at them. You tend to play the games you like because you're good at them. <laughs> well, we're supposed to be sort of good at them. <laughs> at least that's what I do. I don't know anybody that really likes to play the game. You know the that you know they play it just because they're really bad at it all the time it's not really all that much fun <laughs> when you know it get old Murphy's Law there yeah see See, in my opinion, why play a game if you're not having fun with it? Now, my brother, on the other hand, he played WoW, and he got to the point to where it no longer was any fun for him because he started getting too good at it. He was like, I don't know how high, how high he got in it or, or what he did. Uh, all I know is he started telling me he was bored with it. And I'm going, really? That didn't take long. <laughs> I forget what game he's moved on to now. I want to say he's on EVE Online or something, maybe. Wow, dude. That's a long time to play that game. That's kind of like what happened with uh, Star Wars Galaxies. Uh, I had a friend of mine that was playing it, and I was getting ready to start playing it. And then they went and decided to dumb it all down for put it on consoles, and took everything out. So it's like, okay, well I'm not paying for it if it's not even worth playing anymore. Yeah, I bet. You have like a clan or a guild, I take it, that you were like playing with? Oh, really? Are they running like the old version, I would take it? Yeah, really small guild. That makes it fun when you got something like that. Then it's not just about the game, it's about you and your buddies trying to solve some problem or task or quest or whatever. Ooh. I might have to look into that. Yeah, right. Exactly. Well, like my buddy that I was I was working with him, and he and we were talking about one day while we were working, and he said like the game had like close to fifty or sixty different type of classes and so forth. You know, pre Jedi obviously, and and getting to become a Jedi was like very mysterious and hard to accomplish uh, not impossible but it just took a lot for you to do that in the game and then all of a sudden the, he came in one day and he was really bummed and says don't subscribe to it and I said why 
and he said they reduced down to like eight different classes and you could be Jedi like right off the bat and he goes it's not really worth it anymore so and I was that close to start playing the game <laughs> Yeah, right. All because they wanted to put it on consoles. Which, you know, I understand why that is. They're doing it because, you know, they want to try to broaden who can play the game and things like that. Which is all good and fun. But if it radically changes the game that drastically, you know, why do it? You're losing a fan base there. Granted, originally it was only a PC game, but then... They had to dumb it down to put it on consoles. Which luckily nowadays with some of the newer consoles like PS4 and so forth. Uh, they're just as powerful as a PC hardware wise. So a lot of the games now can go on all the platforms if the developers just decide to, to write the games that way. Oh, I just thought I'll tell you, show you another game that I bought. That I think it was only like ten bucks. It's I got a Linux version, but it's very similar to No Man's Sky and Planet Nomad. It's called Skybreak. It's another one of those ones that you have to kind of like build, and you're on a on a planet, and you have creatures and things like that. It's really kind of fun. I haven't played it in a while. I'll break that out and play it again. Um, but I just happened to think about that when we were talking about No Man's Sky a while back. Yeah, it's not one of the more popular ones, but uh, personally, I think, oh, no problem, dude. Hurry back whenever you can. See if I can figure out how to get there. All right, try the pillar thing one more time. Oh, I got an idea. That did not work. to be a way to get over there.
I don't know if you're back yet or not, but nevertheless, it was great meeting you, and I've got to jump off of here for a little bit. i got to go do a Star Trek role play on Second Life, but I'll be back in a few hours uh, streaming up again, and I hope you come see me again, man. Uh, it was great talking to you, especially I love talking to another Linux gamer. That is just, that's the whole reason why I'm even doing this on Twitch, is to talk to other Linux gamers. Uh, that way I can learn some things, and you can learn some things, and... Uh, It'd be great but nevertheless uh, I hope uh, hope to see you again Thanks for stopping by, man. I hope to get to see you again.